my students have been busy doing lots of work and they have gained three little mini action figures, I like to play a game with them. And that is just to break up the working, but also to be able to have fun, to be able to work together, to be able to play and to have a lot of joy with what we're doing with maths. And I also want them to see how maths is used in real life to be able to interact with other people. So the activity that I'm going to show you today is very much based on dominoes. And that is because you can have two players, you can have three players, you can have four players, but it's just a little twist to that. And I guess um, the reason that I love this activity is it stemmed from one that Mark actually showed me where it was, he plays this game called Battleships and the students put forward a number each and the biggest one gets to keep them all. Well, this one is very similar, but it is based on, as I said, dominoes. Now, at the beginning or at the front of the screen, I have actually randomly out of the bowl, you have selected seven numbers. So you have a three, a one, an eight, a nine, a five, an eight, and an eight. So you did pretty well there with some big numbers, but that may not help you in this game. All right, and I also have seven numbers selected. Now, the reason that I have not put these down onto your numbers down onto the board is because I'm going to spin the board in this game. And if you have a lazy Susan, that is fabulous for this activity. But if not, you can just um, spin the board. So that is fine. Now, in this activity, the first person is going to start and you're lucky because you've got a big hand to start. Um, I don't know how that's going to go to all the way to the end. But anyway, let's let's have a go. Now, um, you probably noticed that I haven't done one thing. Okay, I haven't set up my game board with the double number system, which means that everything now going onto it is a number. So let's start with a, a number nine. Okay, now in this activity, to make the dominoes go with the number nine, my side or my turn, what I actually have to do is try and find something that makes up nine. So I have six, six and three. So I'm going to put six and three after the number nine. Okay, so nine is six plus three. And then it's now your turn and you have to make up the number three. Now, I could have been a bit nicer and put three and then six because making up six would be slightly easier than making up nine, but I wasn't. So it didn't happen. So you have to make up three. But fortunately for you, you have eight minus five. You have an eight and a five. So you could do um, eight minus five, which then made three. Now you can, as I said, put your board on a lazy Susan, or I've just put it back onto my slope board. And then it's easy to pass between people because they do want it up the right way. If you've got two people sitting across from each other, it makes it a little bit hard when one's upside down trying to read their um, Lego Braille bricks. But this can be played by four players, five players, however many players you want to want to play. So that person went um, three is eight minus five. So I've got five. Oh, I've actually got five times one. So you can do any multiplication that you like. It could be um, any operation. It could be multiplication, division, anything you like to make the previous number. And that's how we can play Lego Braille Bricks Domino in our classroom.